Hello all you clashers out there, this is Galaxis and I'm back with another update for my Guildmate Cushman Elite. Check it out. He has actually been doing a lot of stuff here on this account. He has a nine star Punkin' Duke, eight of nine. I mean, come on, man. He's putting in a lot of work here. They got the three of five life drain on the Dracula. Uh, he's got his Santa Boom, uh, seven of nine, nine star Santa Boom. Uh, it's got his Druid of six of nine. He's working on that, eight star. Got an eight star Death Knight putting it down man and then look what he got he got a cupid he finally got a cupid so he's working on his cupid four of nine he's got an inscription at 73 he's got a lot of work to do and uh showed you that he has a live drain there on his death knight but uh yeah he's gonna be working on trying to get a good revitalize for that cupid but uh man you know congratulations to Cushman elite he's got his cupid and you know that is a big part of the deal uh, to be able to have um all three of the buffers and just to have a complete crew look at the five of five flame guard on this atlanta core that's a flame core pretty beast dude there so he's got his pixie uh you know he's got a succubus that he uses for arenas and stuff like that um yeah he's got a pretty strong crew now you know and congratulations on that cupid because that is really what he was, was missing uh, he has so much attack and to really to move forward, I think that was what he was after, was to be able to get his Cupid. So we got that uh, up there for him and going ahead and he looks like he's going through and just locking all of his people up here real quick for you and showing you what he has on all of those. Got the 205 Heavy Blow, 205 Enlightened on that guy. All of the extra duplicate heroes, so you can imagine, uh, you know, all those times he was trying for that Cupid and looking and hoping for the Cupid, but... Uh, you know finally finally got that so you know I know I just recently got my Cupid not too long ago also so you know I know the feeling of that uh, waiting that period of time just hoping that you can get that Cupid so congratulations on that and uh, you know let's see what else he has going on with his account let's go on through his heroes here four or five bulwark on that shaman that's pretty beast uh, you can see he's kept all of his heroes that he gets with the 3 of 5, 4 of 5, or 5 of 5 uh, talent because that's that's where it's at. It helps you to bring the might up. And, uh, you know, there's there's no reason to not keep those at this point. So just go ahead and throw those guys in the altar and save them to work on later because all you got to do is just throw some books at them and, uh, you know, they'll help you to bring your might up, especially if they're legends, especially legendary. So... Look at that, 58,000 might is what he's going for. He's at 54,000 right now. You know, I just made it to 58,000 myself not too long ago, and you got 75 gems that you get, so that is so cool when you get there. But, uh, you know, I know that he's working on that. And then check it out, man. He's going to start feeding all of these purple books to this Cupid. And, man, this guy is going to eat all these books up, man, because it takes so much to be able to level these guys up. I mean, it's, it's like... It's outrageous. I mean, check it out, man. A hundred books. He's gotten four levels out of those hundred purple books. So when you get up over 140, uh, you know, it's, it's just phenomenal how many how many books you could throw at these guys. And that's why you'll see a lot of the bigger YouTubers actually just, you know, having just stacks of books because it's like, who wants to stand there for, you know, like 20 minutes trying to feed these guys books? It's almost a lot easier just to do Here Be Monsters uh, higher level here be monsters give you you know substantial amount of uh, experience so you know that's something to think of and maybe it would be cool if they gave us some type of button to auto add all of your books or something like that um, you know something for IGG to think about and maybe maybe we can see that in the future but look at that man gave him 352 books and he only got 10 levels out of that and so here we're gonna go with the blue books and you'll see it's gonna give you uh, what four times uh, less amount than that so he's probably gonna only get another two maybe three uh, levels out of those blue books so yeah man this is this is what it's all about here when you get at a higher level it just takes you a phenomenal amount of experience um, you know to be able to make it to the next level look at that man I mean that's a 1 million 1 million 95 thousand experience just to make it to the next level so gonna go ahead and feed the rest of these blue books to him and 
Uh, you know, I think he's going to forego giving the green ones to him because that probably would just be senseless. You probably wouldn't even get one, uh, you know, one level out of that. So, almost done here real quick. Yeah, and he's not going to try and go for those. Okay, cool. So there you go. Level 155, eight-star Cupid. And, uh, you know, he's going to be working on him. I think it was a four of nine. Um, four of nine, yeah. So he's going to be working on the four of nine. He, right now he's given 25% energy, 25% uh, buffer on attack. So that's cool. He's going to go ahead and roll some gems real quick. He gets a gelatinous champion. It's a legend, but not, not what he's looking for. And a crystal who's a panda and assassin. Oh, man, that is so typical. We know how that is, so yeah, didn't didn't get what he wanted on that, but that's okay, man. You know, we'll just keep on going, keep on going. Got the gelatinous champion, and what else did he get out of these other guys? He's got a two of five on him. Uh, let's see, what did uh, what did the other guy get? Oh, it was a chick. Uh, three of five berserk. Excellent, man. I mean, hey, that's twenty percent of nine hundred attack speed. So, man, she's gonna be attacking pretty fast. Go ahead and throw her in the in the pile because uh, three of five, four of five, five of five, those things are gonna bring up your might, and that's really what it's all about. Being able to bring might up and uh, you know raise your might level, and you know I think that's what he's he was thinking about there, keeping her, and then off to feed Cupid a little bit more, try and give him a little bit more and get him closer to five of nine. I'm sure it won't be long before we'll see a seven of nine or something coming from him. Oh, okay, he has a special hero card. Let's go ahead and see what he can get. Let's hope he doesn't get anything like a paladin or something. Like Snowzilla. Okay, cool. Got a Snowzilla. Yeah, 75% damage every 5 seconds to one nearby enemy for 4 seconds and slows that enemy down. Uh, you know, Snowzilla is actually very useful um, for some people on a higher level. Uh, you know, here be monsters because he can help slow down the boss and the boss comes out. Um, you know, you need some people that can slow that guy down. And so, oh, and he had a three of five, three of five war guy. That's pretty cool. So he's got a three of five on that guy and uh, a four of five revitalize on that guy. Okay, that's excellent. That is excellent. And then he's got this other, a four or five war god. Okay, so yeah, he's got a lot of Snowzillas. Yeah, I think he wanted to just show us that, hey, Snowzilla, he's got a lot of Snowzillas. It's nothing really special. But, uh, oh yeah, he's going to go ahead and bring him on up because he's going to use that to help him bring his might up. And so that's, that's what we always do when we get a legend. I mean, some people like to consume legends personally. Me and, and my guys, we all like to... Uh, use those guys to bring up our might um, you know in the future when we're running out of space in the altar that might be something that we think about doing um, you know consuming some of the extras but right now we're trying to push might and that's what we're going to be doing so we're going to be taking all of our legends and even uh, elites and ordinaries that have three or five skills or four or five or a five or five we're going to go ahead and put those guys in the altar we're going to go ahead and throw some books at them because we need might we're looking for more might, you know, in this in this situation. Because when you're getting up, uh, you know, around 58, getting close to that 58, there are 75 gems. It's like a 35 gem difference. So you're really trying to get those because you, you know, you want to have that opportunity to roll, get a chance to roll, or, you know, use those gems for whatever you want to do. So look at that. He had to throw 118 books at at that Snowzilla to bring him up, uh, you know, to get him up where the rest of the Snowzillas are. So there you go. Got all of his guys at level 80. I think he's probably going to be pretty happy with that. Okay, and he's going to show us a little bit of Lost Realm. So yeah, we want to see where is Cushman at in the Lost Realm. Level 16. Level 16. And, uh, you know, moving forward with that, it looks like he's about halfway to level 17. So, just jumped in real quick to show you guys uh, what's going on there. Looks like he's not going to be hanging out there. And uh, maybe he's doing some raiding. I think he, he told me that he does a little bit of raiding so you guys can see what it's like 
uh, to have Cupid on his crew now and just see what kind of effect Cupid is able to have on his crew because I mean with the Dracula the Santa Boom and then the uh, three buffers Pumpkin, Cupid and Druid he's got a super super strong team and once he gets that sixth hero base he's just gonna really be able to go all out he's got Death Knight some other people he can throw in so man looking forward to seeing that all right looks like he is gonna do some rating we'll get a chance to see how strong his crew is with the Cupid at level 155 so we'll just go ahead and sit back check it out see how he does everything he looks like he lands with his uh, pumpkin and that gives the pumpkin a chance to take all that aggro it's perfect because it gives him a you know a chance to start procking a little bit dangerous in the middle there with that Aries going off like that but uh, looks like his guys is holding his own He's got that restoration ready in case he needs it, but it looks like he's not actually even going to have to use that. So yeah, that's pretty strong right there. Dracula and uh, Santa Boom together, they're just really, really, really overpowered. When you put those two together on a crew that has a Punky Cupid and a Druid, really, really overpowered. So check it out, man. Let's go ahead and do a couple more raids. I think he said he got like three or four in, so... We'll just check out his tactics, see how it is that he, uh, you know, his mode of operation, see what his methods are, and, uh, you know, looks like this is a straightforward, it's going in, this is a Dracula against Dracula battle, but look at that, man, his guy, the other Dracula just stood no chance, it's a total wipeout, total wipeout. When Santa goes off, and he has the pumpkin going on, and he has a Cupid and Druid, uh, that are buffing his attack. I mean, it, it just gets enormous. It really just gets enormous. Looks like a pretty strong crew in the middle there. You got a Minotaur. You got a Spirit. I mean, this is pretty crazy right here. Let's see what he's going to do with this. What is he going to do? Oh, my goodness. Just ran through this guy's base. Didn't even have to use any of the magic, just use the fervor at the very beginning. Oh my good, uh, goodness. Yeah, he, he basically just crushed that guy right there. And that guy had everything, man. I mean, you know, that's just what it is. When you get on this higher level, you're gonna run into people that, yeah, they have everything. They've been paying, they're pay to play, but uh, you know, they, they still get crushed. <laughs> so that's, that's what's, oh, look at this Atlanta core. Yeah, it wasn't a Reviver core. It could have been dangerous if that was a Reviver core. But look, once Santa goes off, once Cupid and, and Pumpkin start going off, I mean, man, it's just a wipeout. Total, total wipeout. This, this is probably a really fun account to play on because he has just so much firepower. And now with the Cupid, man, congratulations, Kush, man. You got it. You got it. Man. So let's see if he shows us one more. Uh, I think he said either three or four. Okay, yeah, that was it. All right, so hey, you guys, I want to thank you guys for checking the video out. You know, leave me a comment, man. I, I want to hear what you guys are thinking. Make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. And until next time, Galaxis out.